Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study AM and PM. And what are those AM and PM? I wrote them here. AM means ante meridiem from Latin. It means before noon. And then PM, post meridiem, means after noon. So what is noon? Noon is the time of day when the sun is at its highest point on the sky, the middle of the day. And so the hours before middle of the day are before noon and they are marked with this a.m. such as 7 a.m. or 10 a.m. And the hours after that are marked with this p.m. after noon such as 3 p.m. 10 p.m. Let's look at those on this timeline. I have here the hours, and for a complete day, we actually have 24 hours, 2 times 12 hours. So this is my 12 midnight, it is night time. And we go through 12 hours, and then we are at noon. And then we go through another 12 hours, and then we are at midnight again. So for complete day, or you can think of it as a day-night period, for complete day-night period, we need 24 hours, 12 and 12. On the clock, the hour hand has to go through those 12 hours twice, okay, in a complete day. And so, to differentiate between these two rounds that it makes, the first time the hours are marked with a.m., 7 a.m., 3 a.m., 1 a.m., and so on, and the second time around, after noon, we mark them with p.m., 3 p.m., 7 p.m., 9 p.m., and so on. It is midnight, 12 a.m., or 12 midnight, you can say. And people are sleeping, most people are sleeping. You are probably sleeping through all these hours, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and so on. Somewhere here, you wake up, maybe at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., I don't know. And then, in the morning hours, most children go to school or do schoolwork over here. And then noon is usually a time when many people eat something, a lunch, or maybe at one. This is now the start of the p.m. hours, afternoon hours, 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m. It is afternoon. And then when it comes 6 o'clock, we say that the evening starts. These here are the evening hours, but they are still p.m. Somewhere here you go to bed at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m. You go to bed and the night time starts and again here people are sleeping. Considering the sun, noon is when the sun is at its highest point, like I said. The sun rises somewhere, it depends on your location and the time of the year, but let's say the sun rises at 6 a.m., the sun rises and gets higher through these hours, then the sun is at its highest, at noon. And then the sun starts going lower on the sky until it sits, maybe at 6 p.m., maybe earlier, maybe later, depending on the time of the year and on your location. Now, I will mark here my sleeping hours, okay? I typically sleep all through these hours till maybe, maybe 6.30, okay? Sometimes I sleep till 7 or later. And then when I go to bed, it's somewhere here, maybe 10.30 or 11. So I'm sleeping those hours. Let's also mark some of my eating times here. Okay, if I get up at this time, I might eat breakfast over here. Let's put here breakfast. And this is a typical time for lunch, especially when I have been filming, because usually at 12 I start filming. Okay, that is typical for lunch for me lately. And, um, okay, this is typical for supper for me. And I usually eat something else over here too, a snack. In your math book, you can do the same. Mark the times when you eat, mark the times when you are sleeping. 